What's going on Madden family? This is your boy J Money Good coming at you with another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video. And in today's video, guys, we're gonna be going over ways you can be making coins and getting prepared for Zero Chill Promo Part 2. Yes, guys, I said it. Zero Chill Promo Part 2, the second half of the promo. I know we had like you know add-ons, but I'm saying, guys, there's gonna be another part of the Zero Chill promo that's gonna be coming for New Year's. As I had mentioned in my previous videos, guys, now this has not been confirmed yet, guys, but it happened in about four out of, what, the last, like, seven Madden Ultimate teams where we actually got presents, a second set of gifts for um, New Year's, okay, guys? Now, these first set of gifts... Um, for me guys, I was able to make back a lot of my profit. Now also, I did pull two Alvin Kamara's out of the Get A Gold Player pack last night. So when you see me up to 4,600,000, that's one of the reasons. And both of those cards sold for 900,000. Now we did have a lot of add-ons to the squad, guys. If you guys haven't been following my channel, or if you have been, um, you could go back to my previous videos. You want to check out the squad from before, guys. But we absolutely have one of the best squads in Madden 21 Ultimate Team right now, guys. And we don't have Moss yet. Um, that's one player we're going to acquire through the coin method that I'm about to go over, guys. Um, we have uh, Troy Vincent. I mean, I'm an Eagles fan. And we got the Rod Woodson. Just all from using the presents that we got yesterday. We got Minka starting, but we're going to... Um we're going to have Atwater back there. We got to get him powered up, okay, guys? Uh, but I got to go do this solo because this power-up is selling for 30,000 coins, okay, guys? So if you just went out and you just got that Madden game and you're and you're coming on for the first time and you're actually seeing one of my videos, guys, which I really doubt it. It's mostly guys who have been playing for a while. But if you're new to the game, guys, and you, and, and you want to know how to make coins, there's an easy way you guys can be making coins, and it's through these Legend solos right now, okay? You just want to go over the Legends that just came out if you don't have Vic or um, or Dion yet guys definitely do their solos because their their power ups are selling for crazy prices the same for Bo Jackson okay guys I would I think Tony Gonzalez is a good one to do right now okay there's a lot of good uh, Bo Jackson's definitely one to do if you guys don't have Bo yet done see I have most of these done because they were selling for like 10,000 coins before okay now I kind of wish I hadn't told you guys to do these before but if you didn't do them before guys now is definitely the time to do them okay guys um now where's atwater back atwater's all the way back what it like was he weak he was way back right i thought atwater was farther back than that i don't see an atwater power up Maybe I have to go into the solo. Atwater's power up's going for about 30,000 coins. Oh, there it is, guys. I'm sorry. So, Atwater right now is going for about 30,000 coins, guys. Oh, you know, I like to play all mine on three stars. That's just me, guys. Because um, I, I like to take my extra, you know, 2,000 coins per solo. Now, this solo takes you about 15 minutes to do. All you got to do is put clock excel on. You just tap the, the front left trigger. Um, right before right when you're selecting your play to, to put it on accelerate clock and just run through this real quick guys And that's 30,000 coins guys. You can make about hundred and twenty thousand coins Just from doing those uh, those those power-ups that I pointed out guys You might even be able to make a little bit more Because also remember these solos do pay out guys 23,000 coins for that one 5,000 7,000 like Come on now, guys. This is major coins right here. So if you didn't get them solos done, I suggest you guys do too. And now, look, this is the reason that I'm saying that there's going to be another part of the zero chill. Because if you guys notice, man, check out my chill factor, bro. I'm at 23 chill factor. Why is that? Why am I at 23? Does that make any sense? Now, I didn't even do all of my solos. So I'm going to go back and do my solos, okay? But as, as I remember, bro, chill factor stopped at tier, look, was it tier 20? Um, the 92 to 93 overall pack. Now, I didn't get my tier 20. Um, my, I didn't even get my tier 15 yet. I don't know if that when that releases. Does it go into it a little bit more? 
Does it say when it releases? No, it doesn't say when it releases. Or maybe I did get it and I, I, I didn't even realize it. I probably added it to a set or something. I'm not sure, guys. Um, but remember, be getting your chill factor up, guys. Because if there's a second part of the promo, if you notice, like, this stuff definitely gives out goodies. Because I gave up on my solos, guys. I just stopped playing them. I'm going to go back and finish my house rules to complete my Justin Herbert. Because right now I have... Um, I have Lamar at quarterback, and he's absolute trash, dude. I just, I, I can't stand the way he throws. He's great. He's fast on the ground, and he does make those plays with his legs that I need him to a lot of the times, but he's really not throwing the ball that I want him, the way I want him to, so I really like that, that Justin Herbert, because he's just as good as Josh Allen in the game, and Josh Allen right now is still one of the best budget beast quarterbacks that you could add to your squad right now, guys, so I'm going to go through, and uh, you know what? I didn't, there, was a, there was a limited mission in here last night. Okay, so it's still in here, okay, guys? So I don't know when this limited mission comes out of here, uh, but you definitely want to get on this because this, this is going to give you a special player once you complete these solos right here, guys. So definitely hop on and finish these because I know it, I, I think it gives you like a, an 81 plus um, zero chill player to add to your squad. Um, so definitely be checking that out, guys. So are these, uh, these are all the special now, okay? This is how the Grouch one must miss. The North Pole, is this it? Well, I don't know if the limited mission's still in here. I might have actually missed the, lim missed the limited mission yesterday, guys. So, zero chill day, is this it? Oh, no, this is it right here. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Okay, so go finish this one right here, guys, because this does give you um, an 81 plus uh, NAT. So, you could pull anything out of this, guys. This is a really good pack. But guys, uh, I don't know what was going on. I feel like there was a glitch in the game yesterday because Alvin Kamara was supposed to be out of packs, guys. And I pulled him out of the get a player. No, not the get a player. I'm sorry. The get a gold pack, guys. And I pulled two of them, not just one of them. I pulled two of them in a row, guys. And they both sold for 900,000 coins. Uh, it, was, it was insane. So I don't know if maybe they put them back in packs for Christmas night. And people did, 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 did anybody else pull them if one of you guys pulled them let me know please because I would just like to know if I just got extremely lucky or if someone else did these gold player packs right now are absolute fire guys I suggest you um, try opening some of these up man because I have been I, I've been maintaining my coins just by opening these up I quick sell everything I turn it in the training and then I, I, I sell off all the cards that are worth selling off and then I go open up like flashbacks or something um, and I've been able to stabilize I've been actually like get, getting up my coins now that is not by any means a method guys because as you know get a get a gold player packs can be fire or they can be luck you know what I mean? I'm just opening a couple of these to see if maybe one of them Alvin Kamara's will pop out again. But I doubt that would be the case. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they fixed it now. Now, guys, um, so there is also a glitch that I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to finish it out. Now, Xerxes had mentioned this on stream, guys. Um, what you want to be doing is completing your 50-player solos, guys, because people are still getting Michael Vick's. People are still getting Deion Sanders, but they're getting the full pieces, guys, okay? I'm almost there, so I'm going to let you know if I pull any um, uh, uh, any, any out of them. I'm, like, right there where I need to be to, to get the, the new fresh player. So I'll let you know if I pull 96. Just look for the comments down below. But I've seen people pulling them. Not everybody gets the 96, guys, but it seems like some people are getting them. So make sure you're fi finishing off these weekly 50 solos today. And, and even if even if not, you guys got to finish them off eventually. Um, so that way you get the, the your, your 96 overall fresh player. So I suggest you guys finish them off now because if this, this fresh pack is kicking out 96 overall players, guys. So I would finish that. Do those legend packs today, guys, if you're new to the game, guys, to get your coins up, okay? Now, this coin method that I'm going to go over is it's more for guys that have a lot of coins, okay? So, if you don't have a lot of coins, go get your legend solos done, guys, and sell off those, those power-ups. Now, also, you guys could be um, creating these, these team builders. If you're new to the game, guys, what you want to do is when you go in the auction house, you want to try and snipe by these cards by filtering down. 
Um, I'm sure you guys don't understand what that means by any means, guys. But what you want to do is you just want to go buy an 85, 283s, and 280s at the at the cheapest cost to create these 88 overalls, guys. Because you can create these for very cheap, and you can make about 10k per 88 or like 5,000 coins per 88, guys. Now their prices have changed. They went from 40 to 30,000. Some of them still sell for about 40,000. So you have to create these relative, relatively cheap, guys. But it is still a good move guys also man these um team diamonds guys some of these team diamonds if you guys could do the get a player pack to create some of these team diamonds guys um you will actually uh, you will absolutely make bank like this troy vincent 89 overall um where's the quarterback at for the raiders this rich gannon guys this 87 rich gannon's going for 269 thousand coins uh, at least it was last night when I, I I pulled Rich Gannon out of packs, guys. How about that? I pulled a Rich Gannon and two Alvin Camaros on Christmas night last night, guys. Yeah. So my luck was extremely lucky on those on those get a gold packs last night. They were absolute fire. But you guys could be doing the get a player pack to create these these uh these team diamonds because going through and trying to get all their power-ups could be a little bit tricky but if you're sitting there and you're doing the get a player and then you get all these these golds and you know high golds low golds it will be pretty easy to complete take your time complete and there's no rush you know what i mean but you do want to do it while um gannon is still a valuable option as raiders quarterback which he should be for a little bit um who was a better raiders quarterback than gannon i mean there wasn't too many really great um raiders quarterbacks you know what i mean but um rich gannon was definitely one of the best raiders quarterback um yeah guys just sniping creating this shack guys because you can make a lot of coins off of this one the same with jimbo covert also guys asante Samuel, you might want to get him before he comes out guys just go pick his 89 up if you're interested and add him to the squad i need to do that because i want to add him to the team when he gets a card this asante is going to be uh all off the charts the same with this jermichael finley guys i suggest you guys pick these cards up before their cards come out so that way you have them waiting in your binder all right uh the same with justin smith justin smith could be a force to be reckoned with the same with mark clayton guys and travis frederick bob sanders i mean pretty much any of these guys you guys could pick up man pick them up pick them up a lot of these guys fixed fit, fits the eagles theme teams so i definitely need to be picking them up okay um now the best coin method in the game right now is very simple, guys. It's just creating the Randy Moss set. All right. Randy Moss is going for a ridiculous amount of coins. And you can snipe these 86 fresh players for about 20,000 coins. So if you snipe all of them for 20K, guys, that'll be 640,000 coins. 640,000 coins it'll cost to create the randy moss okay so that's what i'm about to do guys because i want to add him to the team um i'm gonna actually keep his power up and everything so i'm about to lose 700,000 coins but i'm gonna go create them right when i get done with you guys okay but let's check out what moss is going for plus i want to get into opening up some more of them gold packs guys because i can't believe i pulled almost i pulled i pulled over two million in gold out, out of the get a gold packs last night but it was christmas i don't know maybe ea was doing something special i have no idea but we were pulling them chimeras when we pulled back to back chimeras bro i was i was going nuts over here all right so it's going for 362 for his 82 for his uh for his power up okay that seems a little bit low and it is like early um saturday morning i feel like people ain't really on the game yet but this is not gonna last this is not gonna last he's the best uh, he's the best wide receiver in the game. Now, let's. what's his 96 going for? Okay, so so five, six, seven, eight thousand. So about nine thousand coins minus EA tax. So you're really only making like a hundred and something coins off of this, guys. But remember, you don't really even have to snipe. You could get those 86 fresh players for dirt cheap, guys. And you could make a hundred thousand coins per Randy Moss that you make. Now, Gut Fox had mentioned this. I mentioned this last week, guys. If you guys were listening to me, I told you to do this last week, okay? But you could be doing the same thing, right? It don't just have to be Moss you guys could do. If you want to do another one that's still making coins, guys, we could also be creating the Sean Taylor. Okay, Sean Taylor is a good one to be creating, all right? Sean Taylor is always going to be one of the better sellers. I'm about to put Steve Atwater as my starter, though. Um, just because I feel like... I like the way Sean Taylor plays, but Atwater, I feel like he's going to play... He's going to play just as good. All right, let me see. Uh, Washington football team. 
400. And his power-up's not even up, guys. His power-up's not even on the block. So what does that mean? If you guys were to create a Sean Taylor for dirt cheap, right? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why his power-up's not on the block. Duh. All right, so let's get a power-up. My fault, guys. So what was that? I was going for 400,000 coins. All right, so he's going for 800,000 coins. He's going for more than Randy Moss's. All right, so Sean T is still going for more than Randy Moss's. And guys, there's no way it's costing 800,000 coins to create Sean Taylor. Let's go over and check out the Sean Taylor set. Now, guys, you do need coins for these. Yes, you do. All right, yes, you do. You need coins for these methods. All right, I'll go over something that can make you some guys some coins in a second uh, if you don't have a lot of coins. All right. So, what was I doing? Why am I in ghosts? What am I in ghosts for? All right, here we go. So, let's go over to week 13. Check out this Sean T set. Remember, it costs 800,000 coins to create them, right, guys? 800,000 coins. So, well, they're still going for 20,000 coins. So, if you were to snipe them all the way up, 32 of them for 20,000 coins, it would cost you 640. That's 180K per Sean Taylor that you create. All right, now if you guys don't have a lot of coins, like you don't have enough coins to do those ones, guys. All right, let's go down in weeks. All right, now this is one of my favorite ones because I feel like he sells really good. All right, Darrell Revis is definitely one you guys could do. I don't think he's going to be as as sellable, though. People like Revis. Um, okay, Ed Reed is definitely one you guys could do. Ed Reed's one of my favorite ones to complete, okay? All right, where's he at? I think I passed him. We're looking for the Jonathan Ogden set, guys. That's what we're looking for. Warren Sapp. You might be able to do Warren Sapp still. All right. Ed Reed. I already went over Ed Reed. But these are some of the sets. And what I mean by do the set, guys, and what I mean by sniping, is just going and getting the players that go into this set as cheap as possible. Now that I have some of these acquired um, through... Look, so... You want to get these for about 10,000 coins, guys. These 83 fresh players, you want to get them for about 10,000 coins, okay? Now, remember, guys, if say if these cards are always high, you guys can always be doing the get a player method to knock some of these prices off. The get a player method is you just go and you pull the get a player back, and then you just uh, exchange all the way up until you create the players. Now, I've gone over Jonathan Ogden and Ed Reed before, all right? But Randy Moss and Sean Taylor, you guys definitely could, could be doing, all right? So it takes 11 of these golds. So why would I pay 13 when I could go snipe 11 golds for 1,000 coins and just put them in there? Okay, just put them in the set. Because you could snipe 77s for 1,000 coins. I mean, yes, it's a longer process. But if you have less coins to work with, these are some of the corners that you're not going to be able to cut if you want to make the most profit. Okay, but sniping and doing, you know, just check the prices of these cards and their powers before you get into the set. So you guys don't lose anything now, guys. Now, also, um, there are reroll methods, but those are all um, those are all risky, okay, guys. But what we we do want to be doing, guys, we don't. There's gonna be a second part coming where we're gonna need snow. So if you guys have all those presents left over from yesterday, don't go crazy trying to sell them. Hold on to some of them, okay, guys. Also, um, just because of the fact that there could be. There could be a blitz promo coming, guys. All right. Now, we don't know for a fact that a blitz promo is coming. Sorry for starting my words here. I was just trying to... I didn't want to say that there's going to be a blitz promo coming, but there, we. I think personally there's going to be a blitz promo coming. They had hinted at it. It was there was a, there was a shot of one of the players with a with a little um, blitz promo thing in it that kind of gave it away, saying that there was going to be a blitz promo. Also, that's why I thought there would be a second half of the presents this year, and, and especially with the way the presents looked, the the first half of the presents they were absolutely trash. Um, so. I feel like the next set of presents will definitely be better. But who's to say, guys? Am I going to invest in presents? I definitely will. I like to invest in it because it's fun. You know what I mean? It, it, yeah, you lose coins. Sometimes you make coins. But the most most, most important thing is, is it's fun, guys. All right? So you definitely want to have some snow and training. You want to have snow and training if there is a blitz event, guys. So you always want to have some players that you could sell off. Hey, guys, did you notice we have the Bo Jackson, by the way? We picked them up for 400000 coins i got to get on the, in the morning time when the presents opened up and we got to pick up that bo jackson for four hundred thousand coins he was selling for one million two hundred thousand but now the new legends are coming out with a sean alexander that is just as fast as the new um 
Bo Jackson card, which I do not understand at all. I don't understand that. I don't understand why they're up in the speed on like players that aren't that fast like that. Like that's just ridiculous. I want to show you the stats on them. All right, guys. So <coughs> let's check out the stats on this Bo Jackson right here. Now I have energized on them, guys. It's absolute. It's absolutely the move, guys, because it, you, all you got to do is fake somebody out one time, and then he's off in the clearing. My guy only has 97 speed, but he does have 98 acceleration. All right, now I got his agility up because I because of what I run. I run shaker. All right, guys, but this guy's a goon. He's a savage. Is he worth a million coins? Absolutely, bro. I feel like he is. But if you guys can't afford him, all right, and his price is through the roof. Just go create the new Sean, Sean Alexander that's coming in the Legend set today, guys. He will be just as fast at a lot cheaper of a ratio. Did he come out yet? Yeah, yeah, he's out, guys. He's out. I don't know how much cheaper he's going to be to complete. He might not even be cheaper at all. So let's see. Two. This guy's just as fast as Bo. Three. Four. All right. 470. So we'll say about like 600,000 coins, like six, we'll say 650, since we're not going to count the rest of them. All right, guys, but it's definitely a lot cheaper of an option. Let's go check out what Bo's going for now. Now, is Bo, is Bo still going, uh, is, still, is he still holding his value? That's the, that's the big thing. I mean, with that Sean Alexander, a lot of people are going to be like, wow, you know, I'd rather have a million coins. Not me, guys, because Bo Jackson's going to be an end game running back. He simply is like I can I can hold on to him until the end of the game, and he'll pretty much perform for me until he gets another power up later on in the year. Okay, guys. So, oh wow, guys. So you guys could be sniping and creating that Sean Alexander set. I didn't check out what those last pieces were going for, but I'm pretty sure they weren't going for that that much. Okay, so Bo Jackson is still up, being the fact that he is one speed faster than Sean Alexander, but not by much, guys. So remember, if you would like the coin, I mean that's that's about a 400 coin gap difference if you guys go and snipe and create that set all right guys also you guys could be sniping those 96 overalls creating those legend sets and then putting them on the block and selling them off guys but guys remember we want to have some cheap training all right so we're going to target the players because people people some people are just now getting to their presence guys some people didn't even open their presence yet all right so when we go for training let's just look at 94 95 overalls and see where they're at okay so look Keanu Neal's down to 169. That's probably, that's what I said, guys. He's going to be the cheapest training. So you, you probably want to go to him and that, um, what's the other card that, that dropped? David DeCastro, guys. All right, you definitely want to try and pick him and David DeCastro up. Look at that, 166. That is going to be the cheapest training ratio. And it's always good to have a little bit of training. All right, look at that. It's already gone, okay? Because people are already thinking about that there's going to be a part two to this Christmas promo, guys. You know what I mean? So it's always good to have a little bit of training on, on hand. I'm going to invest about 500,000 coins worth of training uh, just to have it. And I'm going to try and make snow. I think I'm, 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 if there is a second round of presents, I'll invest another million. Because it seemed that I got almost my turnaround back with it um, because I did get a lot of good players, okay? So is it worth it to invest in presents? I feel like that's up to the person that's investing. Because if you go and you spend a million and you just pull a bunch of medium presents, guys, it's definitely not going to be worth it. Okay, so in order for you really to be worth it, I think you should just buy the large presents off the top. Because I was able to get Rod Woodson done. All right, now this Rod Woodson, guys, is definitely absolutely the move. And, of course, they kicked me off because you cannot compare them because EA is broken. All right, guys, so this is just a couple tips I wanted to um, shoot you guys out. Do me a favor, guys. Um... Comment if you would like to win some of those presents guys. I did not give away uh, all the presents yet. I only gave away two I'm still I still have a couple more giveaways um, uh, Yes, I'm gonna give you a, get, a giveaway for always commenting in the videos I seen you in the last couple of videos. So do me a favor. Yes contact me Let me know that you watched the video and you seen that you won I'm not going to chase you down. I know you always watch my videos anyway, yes. Um, and and uh, I'll give you a giveaway, bro. I'll give you one of those uh, David DeCastros if you like one of them David DeCastros. All right, so just contact me. Um, Because I gave away two presents already, guys. So uh, that'll be the third one that I give away, okay? Uh, also, I'm going to have another bigger giveaway. Um, 
because I didn't do the Friday night giveaways last night, guys. So I'm gonna have another big, uh, big giveaway tonight. So just listen for your name or if I contact you, make sure you do reply, guys, because I'm only gonna give you guys 24 hours to reply to me from now on. I can't wait and wait and wait for you guys to get gifts. All right, guys, I get to get these um, giveaways because it's just. Then I forget about it, and then someone wants it like a week later, and then the card's like 500,000 coins more than it was when I purchased it, and I don't want to do all that. So, guys, hit me up. You won. Merry Christmas. Uh, I appreciate all you guys. Stay tuned, guys, because there's going to be a part two. I mean, at least that's 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 what's predicted, okay? I mean, Xerxes seems to think so, and I said that there was going to be a part two to this promo before the promo even started. And uh, my predictions have been about 80% right this year. I've, I've been off about on about 20% of my predictions. You can't be right about everything in the game of Madden because, you know, we're, we're just guesstimating over here, guys. I'm not 100% totally sure what's going to happen. But I like to just, you know, go off of years past Madden's. But I think there's going to be a round two of presents uh, that should be coming in probably tomorrow. This is your boy, J Money Good. Stay tuned for many more giveaways. As always, much love. Peace.